Part of the reason why men don't do this is because as, as a species on this planet, men were the hunters. Men were the builders. Men were the fighters. And when you're out there hunting and you're out there fighting, there's no room for covert conversation. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, how do I deal with passive aggressive individuals in a workplace environment and in family and friend situations? You know, these people never confront you face to face. They try to masquerade, talk shit in a friendly, funny context and talk to others behind your back using manipulative behavior and all that. Where if you try to reveal what they do? They can say that you neg think negatively and you're toxic because they do it in a subtle way. Thanks, E. So when people are acting in a passive aggressive way, we got to explore that first. That basically means that they do they saying and behaving in a backhanded way. Aggressive aggressive means I'm going to say what needs to be said right now, right to your face. And I'm going to be very clear about it, right? You might not like it, but I'm going and you know, it doesn't mean that you do it in a way to trigger, but it means that you're doing it in a way that's confrontive, right? Not all confrontation necessarily means coming to blows. Confrontation means what? Con, right? Con in Spanish means what? With, right? Oros con pollo, right? Con, with. Con, uh, what the hell was I saying? What the hell was I saying? Confront, oh yeah. To confront, sorry, lack of sleep. Uh, to confront means to be with and front. We're together and we're front and center. I'm going to confront you. Passive aggressive means we're with you, right? But I'm sideways. When people come at you sideways, meaning you didn't ask me that in a straight up way. You didn't say that to me in a straight up way. You're beating around the bush. You're trying to make a point, but you're trying to do it in a, in a soft handed way which is actually very effeminate. Men don't do this. Men, the reason why men don't do this, and let me have you understand, part of the reason why men don't do this is because as, as a species on this planet, men were the hunters. Men were the builders. Men were the fighters. And when you're out there hunting and you're out there fighting, there's no room for covert conversations. There's no room for hidden meanings. There's go, stop. Kill, get, jump. Very clear, very straight up. It's very masculine to be very straight, to be very straight up. I'm calling it like it is. I'm telling you like it is. I'm not trying to beat around a damn bush. Passive aggressive. And look, passive aggressive behavior shows up in effeminate men. And when I say effeminate, it means that they're not willing to do what's hard. The word effeminate doesn't mean feminine. A lot of people get confused with that. It doesn't mean that, that you're feminine, right? Feminine is beautiful. Effeminacy is a, is a perversion. Effeminate men don't speak clearly because they're trying to avoid, they're trying to avoid something that might be uncomfortable. You got to be willing to get uncomfortable. As a man, you have to always, that is a hallmark of what makes you a man is your willingness to get uncomfortable. You got to get uncomfortable with certain, in, in certain situations. If you're not getting uncomfortable, you are not growing as a man. There's no growing and being passive. So these people are degenerates already to begin with. Don't want to talk too bad about your friends or family, but the bottom line is they're weak people. Passive aggression is weak. Now, how do you deal with these people? You have to ask them great questions. This is the key, man. I think this is the key to being, uh, to, to, to being the leader in conversations, to being the leader in situations. It's to ask better questions. Get clarity. Act like a dummy with these people, right? So if somebody comes at you and they're trying to they're trying to pa use passive aggression to steer you down a particular path in a conversation they want to go. You got to stop them and you got to say, "Hey, wait a second. Let me understand this. What let me get clear about what you're saying and rephrase that question in a, or rephrase what their statement is in a more clear way, right? Um, I'm trying to think of an example, but but I can't think of one right now. So if somebody, uh, somebody, if, this is a weird one. You're, you're eating your food, right? You're eating your food and somebody else is eating their food with you and you guys are eating food. And he goes, uh, or she goes, or that person goes, 
Hey, are you going to eat that? Right? I'm eating my damn food. And they're looking at me and saying, hey, are you going to eat that? Or you got a little something on your plate. Are you going to eat that? What you do, because they're being passive aggressive, what you do is say, do you want to eat my sandwich? Are you asking me right now if you can eat my sandwich? I just want to get clear. That right away exposes them for what they just tried to do. And it might be funny. Like, people might laugh because it's like, look at this dude. Right? They recognize that, oh, he was trying to be passive aggressive. He's trying to ask him, hey, are you going to eat that? Right? Actually, I think I remember that from a movie. There's a movie with Martin Lawrence and, uh, and um, Eddie Murphy. They're like... They're like in a, in a jail somewhere, right? Like in the dirty South, like slave jail. And it was this big dude. And when he got, first got into jail, life was the name, thanks. There was this big dude around the table, big black dudes, all black guys in the movie. And he stands up and, and points to Eddie Murphy's f t plate. And he goes, you going to eat that cornbread? <laughs> right? You going to eat that cornbread? And I think Eddie Murphy in that movie, he did, he did exactly what I just said. He said, you trying to eat my food? Are you saying that you want to eat my food? You can't have my cornbread. If that's what you're insinuating, you can't have it. What he basically did was he, he broke that frame of the passive aggressive dude. Kind of, he's being aggressive, but he's doing it in a passive way. You going to eat your cornbread? Are you asking me to eat my cornbread? Do you want my cornbread? Are you trying to eat my food? Is that what you're trying to do right now? Let's be clear. You cannot have my food if that's what you're asking. You see, <laughs> that's being direct. That's being direct. That's being clear. All you got to do with passive aggressive people is clear up their behavior. And you clear up their behavior and you clear up their language for them so that they, so they're exposed for what they're doing. If somebody does something in a passive aggressive way, point out what they did and ask them what it means. Hey, yesterday you walked in the room and I noticed that you walked right by me without saying hello. And you just wait and you ask them to say, say something, right? You don't, you don't say anything about uh, what you felt. You don't say anything about what you judged on his action. You just point out what you saw. You're confronting him with a direct question or statement. Hey, I noticed when you walked in the other day, you didn't say hello. I'm just noticing, that's all. Oh, all right. Hmm. And when they do, and when they do things to sort of uh, to get you, once again, you get very clear with just noticing and just telling them that you notice or letting them know that you notice. Because passive aggression, fault with passive aggression, right, is the worst thing. Pa when somebody's passive aggressive with you and you pretend like they're not being passive aggressive with you or you are passive aggressive back by not being confrontational not pointing out the damn thing you are just falling down the same is a slippery slope for both of you right sometimes women are passive aggressive with you because they want to get a rise out of you also and what's very manly is to be stoic i'll use an example from my own life just last night Colleen wasn't too happy with me about something last night. And, and uh, we usually shower together at night. And we have, a new, you know, we have a new shower that has multiple heads. So she has her shower. I have my shower. It's pretty cool. And usually when we get in the shower at night, you know, whoever goes in there first will turn on both showers so it warms up. And last night I came into the, to the bathroom. I got in the shower. I noticed her shower's on, but my shower's not on. And I was like, hmm. Huh. I, just, I just opened up and I just noticed my shower wasn't on. I just go, Huh. I turn on my shower. I didn't say I didn't say a damn thing. She had to check herself and recognize and say, "Oh, I didn't know how long you were going to take, so I just turned on my shower." I was like, "Oh, is that?" And you know what I said? "Oh, is that right?" Hmm. Mm -hmm. I know she was being passive aggressive, but I was very straightforward in my not engaging. Hmm. Is that right? Hmm. Okay. Cool. I noticed. I noticed what happened. Is that what it is? Is that what you say? Okay. All right. Cool. And then you move on. With women, that works real well. So that's my little rant on that, man. Uh, when you're dealing with these people, you just have to expose that. You got to expose them. They're very easy to expose because passive aggression is a, is a trip in itself. And you do it by just asking clear questions, pointing out what happened, 
and then being non-reactive to it. Huh, I noticed this. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. I see where you at. I see you right there. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know. It's a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation sessions where me and a like-minded group of men get together every week for about four or five hours and speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives, in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then message me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to you with details to see if you qualify. Hope to see you there.